Hey, hey YouTubers, how's everybody doing? Thank you for stopping by and I hope this video finds you well. If you're new here, my name is JC and this is the Cuban Redneck DIY channel where we do cooking and grilling on Tuesdays and DIY stuff on Fridays. Looking for recipes? No problem. Just click on the title of the channel where you will find multiple playlists dedicated to not only cooking recipes but desserts and drinks as well. Okay, for the rest of you, I have a very quick video today and one, as many of the recent videos, one that I was not planning to make. Uh, as I said in the video where I made the stand for the Mito saw, uh, for the last six, seven months or as long as I've had it, uh, it has been sitting on top of this milk crate full of spray cans. Now that the Mito saw has a stand, now I need to find a solution to get rid of these cans. The problem is that I go on YouTube for inspiration and I find that a lot of people are making canned storage racks uh, that are very dedicated to a specific niche. You have canned storage racks for uh, rattle cans, uh, for food, you know, canned food, uh, spices in the pantry and things of that nature. The problem is that I have all kinds of different uh, types of cans, uh, all different sizes, heights, etc. And making a can, uh, making a, a, store, a can storage rack that is very specific to a particular size of bottle or can uh, is not very useful. So a little bit frustrated with YouTube, and then an idea popped into my head. Uh, as a teenager, uh, as I said before, my dad was a commercial fisherman. It was not rare for us to spend the night at sea. Uh, in my little tiny cubby hole in the boat. Uh, there was this cubby, uh, there was these holes, uh, these partitions on the wall of the boat that uh, held stuff. And it was basically nothing but a cubby hole and it had an elastic. And it will hold all kinds of things from life jackets to all kinds of stuff. So I was thinking, it's like, why can't we just make, you know, a canned storage rack that is universal, that will fit, you know, a multiple uh, types of can, bottles, things of that nature. So. I have an idea, check this out. Although I'm building a can storage rack to hold uh, spray cans and to hold you know, oil cans and all the finishing products, uh, this is a project that you can easily modify to make it into a canned food uh, storage rack or even a spice uh, storage rack for your pantry. Uh, I'm going to be using a bunch of cutoffs and scraps that I have in my pile of lumber, as well as some old bungee cords, which are all stretched it out. But nevertheless, I was able to price this project at both Lowe's and Home Depot for about $15. I'm going to start by taping my two water stringers. More often than not, when I need two pieces of the same dimensions, I taped them together. This makes my cuts more accurate, and I also find it to be a lot more efficient since we're cutting multiple pieces at one time. Now, the height and width of your can storage rack is up to you. Not only am I using lumber that I have on hand, but also this rack is going to be installed at a dead space behind my door. With both pieces cut to equal length, we need to figure out the space between the bulkheads. The largest spray can I have is about 10 inches. And this is perfect because the stringers are 36 inches long. So I'm going to divide my can storage rack into three sections of 12 inches. For this, I'm going to use the safe foot long 1x2. Now, putting weight on a broad side of a piece of pine is going to invite bowing, so we need to add some type of vertical support. Ideally, we want something that stretches the entire width of the rack, but the piece of quarter inch plywood I have is not wide enough. That's not a problem as long as it covers 80 to 90% of the width. After cutting the piece into strips, I cut the corners on one side just for decoration purpose, nothing to do with functionality. And after making the quarter inch by one and a half inch dado, it is time for assembly. But not before we make some holes for the mounting screws and for the bungee cords. I may sound like I'm rushing this, but honestly, this doesn't have to be complicated. I mean, if you're building a spice rack or a food storage rack for your pantry out of, I don't know, red oak or something like that, I can see putting a little bit more attention to details, but for a spray can storage rack for the garage, this more than do. To hold this thing together, I'm using 1 and 5 8 coarse thread drywall screws for the horizontal bulkheads and brad nails and glue for the vertical support. To hold the bunch of cords in place, I'm using a small 4 inch zip ties at about a quarter of an inch from the end and a double glue to keep the zip tie from slipping off. 
Also note that I'm only using one because I feel that that's enough to hold a spray can. However, if you plan to store quarts of paints, soup cans, or anything heavy like that, you may want to consider using two per section. Way back at the beginning, I drilled a 516 holes for a dowel across the top. I was not going to use it, but I changed my mind. The top of this thing is open and there is a bunch of cord pulling on it. What this means is just a matter of time before the tension pulls them inward. With that out of the way, we can get ready for installation. This is going to be a tight squeeze because of the small space, but bear with me please. I place a piece of 2x4 on its side to hold the can storage rack up while I drill it. And after verifying it was level, it's just a matter of drilling, installing some plugs, screw it in place, and load it up. As always, it was not pretty how we got here, but we got it done. I hope this video sparks ideas in your head so that you can design your own can store solution. And I look forward to seeing you next week with a new project. Please support this channel by subscribing, liking, and sharing. And don't forget to hit that notification bell. Thank you.